Freilassing is not far from the Austrian border. In the Lokwelt there, remarkable exhibits remind us of the good old days of the railroad. Here we met up with Gudrun Geiblinger, who is currently presenting a small exhibition of her art locomotives there. She has a Macklin model in the works for the first time. Es gibt ja Themen, wo, wo man kein Motiv als Vorlage hat. There are subjects where you don't have a motive as a template. Albert Einstein, how do you draw a theory of relativity? You can't, difficult. I didn't have any pictures. With Leonardo da Vinci I had lots of pictures. And I would actually need 20 more cars in the back. Because I had far too many images. He is, of course, one of my absolute idols, a genius. Railways and design are the buzzwords, and there will soon be an exhibition on this at the Nuremberg Transport Museum, in the Deutsche Bahn Museum. Exactly. And a corresponding locomotive is also to be designed. Now you've been given this assignment and the topic of railways and design. How do you approach the topic? We're getting ahead of ourselves here. I don't get the contract beforehand. I always say, well, let's see if I can get something together. I don't want an assignment in advance, otherwise I'm under so much pressure. Because I always have to see first if I can come up with something on this topic. I always have to brainstorm for myself for a few days. I sit down, let everything sink in a bit. Sometimes I come up with a lot right away. It depends on the topic. You have to see it. There is a signature behind it. It's not divided into a thousand images, but rather a streamlined signature, a brush stroke in this case. And it's precisely the colors that the DB Museum is promoting for this exhibition, for example red, blue and this green. And yes, it's young, dynamic. I definitely didn't want to draw a locomotive on a locomotive again, for example. I didn't want to print an ICE on it. I also don't print another house on top of a house. That would be inherently contradictory. I have already disassembled a great many locomotives, and all the ones I knew from various manufacturers were made of plastic. I got something that was really new to me. I thought I already know everything after the 45th locomotive, and of course, the hand samples are always there for me. So I know what the larger real thing looks like. And you notice right away, it is weighty. I like that. Totally fascinating. Metal is nothing new for Gudrun Geiblinger, as she has also created small locomotive pendants in silver. I assume that you enjoyed working for Märklin, and I for one would be happy if there were other things that you did together with Märklin. Yes, of course, and above all, I'm always interested in a new challenge. The subject areas are so different, and so are the demands I have to meet in terms of the idea. I've already worked with, or rather been allowed to work with, many different brands. The Hamburg Port Railway or the new ships like the Mariandel, completely different assignments. And of course, I would be delighted to be able to continue crafting new ideas for a global brand like Märklin. In keeping with the exhibition at the DB Museum in Nuremberg, which begins on October 1st, the 101, designed by Gudrun Geiblinger in the prototype, will refer to the interesting history of design in railroading. Both locomotive sides will look different. In addition to the corresponding half-O model, a Z or Z locomotive and a model in nominal N gauge will also be published by Minitrix. For the first time, the half-O model gets a mid-mounted engine with propulsion on all four axles.